All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. Had a very satisfying day yesterday and a very satisfying rest. Uh, this was despite going to Target. My mask broke right before I got inside the store, and then the the guard there told me that I couldn't come in because I don't have a mask on. And I told him, "Oh, it broke. Sorry, sir. You know we can't let you in." It's like, "All right, I'll come back." And it's like, oh, I was so in I was. <laughs> Normally, I get very angry, right? But I was like, well, okay, not good to be angry, right? That's what Jess Lee Peterson says. And we'll actually get to that in a second. And uh, he's like, all right, I'll come back. I was like, well, all right, I kind of needed a walk anyway, right? Um, and I also found out that even despite the mask policy and it being a Monday and everyone's on shutdown, Target was actually surprising. It had a lot of people there, right? I still got most of what I wanted. I didn't get the crispy chicken strips. So now I'm trying something new, which is a much which is the uh, the unbreaded chicken breast chopped up pieces. I forgot what it's called. Very healthy, very surprisingly tasty. I was, that's the most shocking part. It was surprisingly tasty. So like the Good and Gather and Archer Farms people, they like they really know how to you know treat their animals right. And um, yeah, it's reasonably priced, right? It's the same as everything else, eight fifty nine. So it's less calories and nineteen grams of protein for a three ounce serving. And it's like, wow, this is great. So I'm definitely going to be buying more of that. So, uh, yeah, it wasn't so bad. And also, it now also means that, uh, you know, I definitely know I should go to Target only Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. And the same rule applies to Costco, too, for those of you who go to Costco. You know why? Because everyone does their shopping on the weekends. That's why it's always crowded. And then Monday, um, I guess it's the day after the weekend. So it's shut down. So that's when it's like, well... Well, the weekend's always crowded, so I'm going to just go on Monday. <laughs> so what do they people do that? Now Monday becomes crowded. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, we'll, we'll go over Trump. We'll go over uh, coronavirus because I need to see what the hell's out. Because now coronavirus is actually affecting my life personally, right? I have to now spend more money. But, uh, now luckily, Amazon, you know, changed my order so that it's... I guess it's because it, uh, I'm ordering it from New York and being shipped to New York, obviously. New York City specifically. They actually bumped up my order from the end of the first week of May to like later this week at the earliest. So, because obviously we're a hot spot. So, you know, again, I really need the mask because now it's required by law. So, and I need the actual good mask. Uh, actually, you know, I'll just show you what I bought. I mean, I already have mine on the way, so now I don't care if all of you start buying it. Uh, that's really bad to even have to think like that, right? But, you know, you got to take care of yourself first, right? It's like, uh, what, what a shitty situation to be in. Reusable mask. Oh, here we go. So there's tons of these, right? And uh, if I didn't find what I was looking for, I was going to do reusable exercise mask. So this is what I've been seeing people buy. Uh, Hero Biker. I think this is the one I bought because I made sure to get one with a pretty decent amount of ratings and it's at least four stars. What did I actually buy? Because it's basically the exact same thing. Uh, I bought a Yodel Life Anti-Dusk black mouth mask okay so what's the ship oh my god fucking bit here goes uh hold on i need to oh god i didn't want to do that hold on i need to fix my bit heroes all right so what's the what's the shipping time on this one because i didn't see this one uh yesterday available this side was not shipped to australia oh, of course because it should be in america um available from these sellers oh that's right, because it thinks I'm in Australia. I'm going to have to return back on. Uh, okay. We're going to do this. Son of bitch. All right. Uh, it still thinks I'm in Australia. Let me try doing this. There we go. Uh, due to increased demand, we have to reduce product selection available for the region. We're going to reduce... Oh, wow. So this is even... Um, yeah, so there's tons of masks that you can buy, right? You can even get these bandanas. <laughs> you know, just anything to cover your nose and mouth. That's really all that is required. Um, yeah, so I don't know what the shipping speed is, but basically this is what I'm, you know, and there's like tons of them out there. So right, let's turn the uh, proxy back on. So that's what I bought. And then, uh, yeah, and then of course, you know, I read a good chunk of the Amazon Everything Store book. Uh, yeah, I really have to sit down and think because like now I have, I wouldn't say a flashback, but I remember I was asking some asshole 
uh, to help us work on cryptocurrency. And he's like, well, your thing, it doesn't look like... I don't know, he just gave some stupid, retarded, F-word answer. He's like, oh, well, I have a fancy website, so you guys look like shit. It's like, all right, yeah, it's like, get, get out of here. You know, so it's definitely going to be uh, an interesting challenge, right? Because if I were famous, I could just use my fame and then just say, hey, you know, just come work for me, you'll have equity, because that's how Jeff Bezos did it. But he also paid people pretty well, too. He was also already successful, right? So I'm kind of like in, in between, right? So like, you know, because I'm moving fast, just like the future is moving fast. And, you know, Jeff himself said, uh, I forgot the exact quote, but I don't want to butcher it too much because it was actually really important. He said, Amazon is not happening to the book business. The future is happening uh, to the book business, right? This is in reference to everyone going out of business. That's actually true. Everyone wants to blame Amazon, and yeah, they probably do deserve a lot of blame. But even if you got rid of Amazon, there's just going to be some other asshole that who knows computer programming is going to do the same thing to you, right? Because it's the classic problem, right? Conservatives just don't want to fucking, you know, evolve with the times. Hell, even liberals don't really want to evolve with the times. Uh, but most, uh, but more liberals would be willing to do that. That's why they still run all these big fancy businesses and conservatives just stick to being mom and pop stores, right? And technically, there's nothing wrong with being a mom and pop store, but the problem is you're, they're, they're obsolete, right? That's why brick and mortar, that's why I don't do brick and mortar shit. As much as I like brick and mortar, uh, it's high expense, high maintenance, and it's fucking stupid, right? It's not the past anymore. Everything's being digitized. Right. There's a, you know, like, you know, I prefer all my shit digital. Right. You know, and so do most young people. Now, with that being said, do people still want to go out and hang out in places. Yeah, of course. Right. But, you know, you don't need as big of a presence anymore. There's a reason why GameStop is shuttering stores and they're focusing more on uh, online because they know what happened to Blockbuster Video. Blockbuster Video didn't give a shit. And then when Netflix came along and they had a chance to stop netflix in its tracks and blockbuster video could become what netflix is today they didn't choose to evolve they didn't choose to get with the times right the future happened to them and then guess what you know you get what you deserve right you don't do the right things you go bankrupt or you die right that's what happened to kim jong-un and apparently there's some sort of uh conflicting reports right um because because for some reason america says he's dead or about to die South Korea contradicted that shortly after. Uh, the thing is, nobody gains nobody gains any benefit from lying about something like that. So it just seems to me an honest mistake if it turns out Kim Jong Un uh, is alive. However, uh, I'm actually inclined to believe that he actually might actually be in uh, physical uh, physical grave danger because he's fat. He smokes. He's obviously obese. Uh, there was actually someone who said, um, I thought it was probably some liberal journalist on Twitter. I think I might have retweeted it too, but basically, uh, the 58 year old, uh, former president of South Korea was shoveling and was in great shape, but Kim Jong un at the time was like 34 and could was huffing and puffing, right? Kind of like me, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, he just yeah, he's really out of shape, so. Uh, yeah, so, uh, Kim Jong-un should just come out in public, all right, just prove, prove, prove he's in good health, all right, all right, just like Hillary Clinton in 2016, oh, you know, it's like, oh, you're saying good health, all right, show us, all right, and she collapsed on 9-11, so that's, that's, that's what I'm looking at, all right, so, uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll, we'll see how it goes, uh, let's see, uh, but that's my personal stance of Kim Jong-un thing, but anyway, but back to Amazon, yeah, there's a lot for me to think about to make changes, and uh, yeah, it. I definitely have to figure out how I want to like find more people to help us work. I mean, I kind of always wanted that, especially in cryptocurrency. But I've been given this my current situation and the situation of coronavirus, and given what I have to work with, I'll probably have to. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll have a few years to think about what I'm gonna do. But first, I have to get my first commercial property, make sure my cash flow is stable, because obviously I'm probably gonna have to pay somebody. Um, and then think, you know, um, and then I'm also going to think how do I, cause I'm trying to figure out what I want to do in terms of entertainment, right? The easier thing, but the more expensive thing, right? There's a price for this easiness is to just simply do TV and film. Like I originally did and then do the video game stuff after, you know, the cheaper way now, but more difficult 
to actually do is to start making games or specifically I start hiring people to make my games and then I have to figure out some kind of like sh company structure uh, that you know do I want to be a video game publisher like congregate or electronic arts right you know but I'm also thinking well if I do that like what what different do I what's different that I bring right I have a couple of good ideas but that was like pretty high up there so it's like it's a lot more complicated than it seems. It's like, ugh, there's no clear answer. So, you know, but, you know, again, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend as much time as I need to, right? Between now and whatever, right? Because I definitely want to make those games and I definitely want to make those movies and TV shows. So I just got to figure out how, how to do it. Yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah. But uh, Bitcoin does that 63.6%. 24 of them is at 133.7 billion. Uh, I already refreshed this a ton of times, so this should be the right price. Bitcoin's at 68.38. Litecoin's at 40.51. Uh, Doggy coin, 242.6 million market cap. And Steam is at 14.79 cents. So again, uh, the markets are actually priced correctly. It's not going to go up, right? It can't go up until after the shutdown starts. Uh, uh, whatchamacallit, starts getting lifted, right? And who knows when the hell that'll happen, right? I mean, hell, me and Mike Cernovich said, if you read me, don't go to these anti-quarantine protests, right? I have a very bad feeling about it, and I don't normally tweet tweet like this, which is true. Now, I personally don't really agree with that, right? But if you have to go to a crowded area, you should be wearing a face mask, and you should be doing social distancing, just in case. Right? Because conservatives tend to be what? Older boomers. Well, guess what? What, who, 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 uh, oh, well, they also tend to be fat people too, all right? There's especially a lot of fat conservative types out there or overweight people, all right? Get, guess what? That means you're all at high, you're a high risk group, right? We can't, as, a, as annoying as I find the boomers, we still need you alive for a little while longer. So don't die from coronavirus. So, you know, just take, again, the moderate center right, uh, you know, co uh, compromise position, right? It's, it's, it doesn't have to be extreme, and that's the problem. Everyone just does the extreme, like everything must be shut down. No, we all must crowd. No face mask, no social, no nothing. How are you fucking assholes just like do something more nuanced? And, and you know, it's just like it, it's just it's like we're we're run by like a bunch of idiots, right? And the political parties cater to these idiots, and that's why we have all this stupid shit that we're dealing with now. Luckily, Trump and Groyper Wars seem to be succeeding, so we'll leave that for the last, because this might actually be having a big impact. Because right? Trump's shutting out all immigration, so I need to see what's going on. Uh, Schumer sees Senate deal and coronavirus funding. Yeah, I haven't gotten my Trump bucks yet, so uh, these Democrats better like give me my money. Uh, Remmel, uh, yeah, doing normal. RF, doing normal. Yeah, so pretty much everything looks about right. Uh, San Jose says large gatherings are not realistic until, well, it's San Jose, so I don't know what the population density are not until 2021. Well, the good news is liberals are going to be taking a large amount of damage, so they can't have their F word stupid uh, parades, right? You know, they're basically just you know, anti-Christian, anti-white people, anti-American, right? And pro-degeneracy. So uh, so at least there's a very good silver lining in that. Thing is, can the conservatives hold out long enough to outlast the liberals? Uh, I don't know. I mean, they can just wear a face mask and do social distancing, even if you're in a relatively safe area, right? Just don't, don't, because right now the liberals actually do have a good valid point, right? Um, Pennsylvania protests or something like that was twitting, trending on Twitter because is either Pennsylvania or Georgia? Like who? Governor Kemp. I think what? Go, that's Georgia, right? Yeah. That, so Georgia is reopening, and I saw, and then they have pictures of like all these Trump supporters like bunching up and whatever, right? Because I know people are doing that. I know I wanted to do that too. Like I want to go to a protest because I'm fucking like. I had to, I had to, I got kicked out of Target yesterday. I mean, it was very nice, so I shouldn't say, so it's not like kicked out, like, get out, get out, kind of thing. It's like, I wasn't allowed in because of the stupid shutdown shit. So yeah, I'm pretty fucking annoyed too, right? And I'm in a good position. I don't know everyone else, right? No money, starving, and in shutdown, and cannot get work, and cannot, I'm not allowed to work. 
yeah, you know, I can only imagine how angry that person's going to be, especially if they have a family to take care of or worry about, or loved ones or something like that. Uh, so anyway, just, uh, but yeah, it, it's just like, God, do I have to do the thinking for everybody? And of course, because I'm not famous or powerful, everyone's just pushing me around and just ignoring me. Uh, I don't want to say the asshole's name, but again, I'm not, like, again, whatever, like, all the people that are associated with this particular fake right, fake Christian, like, judgmental F-word asshole, like, they just treat me so badly. Like, I don't, I don't even do anything. It's just like, it's like, what is wrong? Like, there is something seriously wrong with that, uh, with this person. Um, and our side is basically infected with all tons of these idiots. So now I, I'm beginning to understand why we can't get anything done. And why God gets mad. So, you know, and I'm, I'm supposed to try to fix all of this or at least try to contribute to the uh, solution. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, I mean, that's why I got to do my movies and video games, right? I can at least reach some people so they can, at, at the very least, not become that. And then number two, help me push back against that so that, like, everyone's just more like, hey, maybe you ought to sit down, be still, like Jesse Lee Pearson would say, and start thinking about things because that's my spin on that not just be still but think on it and it's like hmm is this really the best solution huh maybe this is not what i should be doing this because this could be a little too me you know blah 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 uh oh well but of course i have to figure out how to teach empathy too um so san jose says nothing realistic until 2021 man these liberals are really going nuts on the shutdown but i mean we kind of have to too because like we're very dense but on the other hand we have to open something this is ridiculous. JMC coins at 10 to 11, so it's been going up a lot, so that's pretty nice. Um, 404 coin, I don't know what's wrong with this right now, so we're just going to go on my Chrome. 404 is at 8 to 9. Uh, the buying volume is 262.5 million, and the sell is 101 million. So right now, there's, an, a, there's a, a very huge push for uh, proof-of-stake coins. Um, so... Very, very good. Very, very nice. Um, actually, I should stay away from that so Crex doesn't detect my IP. 2x2 uh, two two coins at 68 to 74. So this is also going up. So right now, proof of stake coins, especially the exotics, are going uh, up a lot. Uh, so that's a good sign. Um, yeah, it could be in reaction to this too. Like, you know, major is going down. But it's just down a little bit. So overall, very good. Very good. Um, I don't know. I think we might still go ahead with the coin swap for uh, 4 4 coin, even if it goes up a lot. But we're definitely going to have to talk about it with Mitch because he really wants to do the coin swap. Um, so, you know, and then, and then after that's successful and it looks like it's working normally, we're definitely going to do a coin swap for JMC coin. Uh, unless, of course, JMC coin goes up so much that maybe uh, we'll make a change or something. I, I don't know. But I wouldn't mind doing a coin swap for JMC coin either because I I need the supply to be destroyed. I want to, and I want to set the APR back to like two hundred percent. I've decided I'm just gonna make it two hundred percent. I don't care anymore because even platinum bar coin with zero support. Um, let's go over here. XP uh, is at thirteen. So it's been going down a lot. It's at thirteen. It really should be going. It should be worth a lot more. But again, it has zero support. So but it's still. 13 satoshis whole satoshis of a bitcoin it doesn't even have the sub satoshi imagine if we if this were jmc coin you had the full support that you obviously see right this thing would be worth a shit ton of money and you're getting 200 percent apr for like a long ass time well, actually probably forever because we were smart enough to keep it small so yeah and it's going to be using the new code base too because that's what mitch has been trying to look for for a while uh, apparently he's found it so it's just going to be like superior literally in every way. It's like an actual update. I mean, when you use software, right, or video games, there's a patch. And things always get better with the patches. That's exactly what we're doing here. Kapow coin uh, has gone back up ish a little, I guess. 61 or 71 hundred Satoshis of a dog coin is 7200 ish, right? But it's really just more buy orders, some sell. So I guess I'm actually going to put a sell order somewhere around 7100, see if I get anyone to bite. I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it. Uh, let's see. Bitcoin pressured after oil crash prices. No, that does not matter. That's just stupid. Americans are easy to buy Bitcoin. Smart. Good. That's what you should be doing. First more of a... Um, hmm. 
Uh, I guess I'll give them a bit. Oh, actually, it, Bitcoin text are always collapsed now. Uh, if Preston Hall's Bitcoin won't fi fall much further lower, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we kind of already know that. It's already been beaten badly. And it's actually been very resilient during coronavirus compared to everyone else, so. Uh, again, people are still being stupid uh, in terms of voting, but what else is new? Um, let's see. Bitcoin uh, is insurance during coronavirus, according to Robert Kiyosaki. Yep. Well, at least he knows uh, what's up. Ripple Executives says it's usual trading boost XRP. Okay, all right. Top whale shorting. The top crypto whale is shorting Bitcoin, so he's bearish on Bitcoin. The last massive shift takes place. <clears throat> who is this person and how much is he shorting uh he's anonymous of course uh okay so we actually don't care because he doesn't even he so we don't even know how much he's shorting so we don't care trading views bitcoin already oh yeah tony vase is banned i wonder if he ever came back uh <clears throat> I always misspell his name because does he have an E or does he not? Oh. One hour. So is he back on YouTube? Because oh, it's, as much as I don't like. What? As much as I don't like him. Uh, yeah, he's back up on YouTube. All right, trader. Okay. Well, I guess Tony Mace is actually back on YouTube. Hmm. Go figure. Well, that's actually good for in terms of anti-censorship, so that's good. Even though I personally don't like him. But at least, uh, you know, he's back, so that's good. So at least YouTube is still <clears throat> YouTube is still willing to, like, hey, you know, and it's like, hey, we've got to be careful with this stuff. And I will have to admit, Google has been pretty good about restoring most Bitcoin channels' content or anyone who does cryptocurrency, right? So, and I didn't hear anything about Tony Vase being reinstated, so that probably means he, because I remember there was someone else I did in a previous video, it was a couple months back, that uh, YouTube was also banning, like, Bitcoin channels, but I think I remember specifically saying that one looks like, kind of like a scam, so maybe that's why they banned it. I didn't hear anything about them this ever, again ever since then, so maybe they got reinstated too. Uh, warning, but yeah, overall, YouTube has been pretty good about restoring Bitcoin channels as opposed to, say, political channels, where they're definitely banned, keeping that shit banned. I think I can, I can kind of understand why. It's because they just figure, well, you know, all they do is just suck up all the attention, money, and just piss everybody off, and everybody just doesn't want to spend money on corporate shit. So we must just get rid of it all. Yeah, go figure. You know, uh, but I was I was thinking down. I was thinking and sitting down. It's like, what's my what's my Jeff Bezos move going to be? It's like, well, I mean, free speech and anti censorship via decentralization. Well, here's the problem: if people truly valued it, why am I and you still on YouTube? All right, why are we still on Twitter? All right, why aren't we using Gab? Why are why aren't we using BitChute? All right. Now you could argue BitChute's got technical problems because I definitely encounter them and it's very annoying and it doesn't have as many features. But is that really it, right? No, it's because we want easy shit and we want the big audience. And to say it, as long as you don't talk about certain topics, it's really not that bad. So you're giving up a lot just to have your free speech. <clears throat> and on top of that, a lot of people also don't like free speech to begin with. They don't care. Right? They rather have, like, just look at the shutdown, right? How many people actually agree with the shutdown, right? There's a reason why there's a lot of fucking F words voting for fucking uh, senile, brain dead Joe Biden, right? You know, you if it was Donald Trump versus Kim Jong un, like the actual Kim Jong un, the same liberals would still fucking vote for Kim Jong un. <laughs> right? That's how stupid uh, a lot of the people in the Democrat Party are. Right, you know, I don't like bashing so many liberals, but I mean, their actions keep do uh, keep repeating themselves, right? And what does the Democrat Party establishment do? They cater to these stupid idiots, right? That's why they're constantly running all these stupid marches, all these stupid 
uh, what you might call it, like you know, diversity, 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 and then they're now blowing up in their face, right? I mean, in fact, I bet the liberal establishment is actually probably breathing a sigh of relief because guess what? If you can't have your stupid pride marches and your diversity initiatives because of the shutdown. Well, guess what? Now you don't have to worry about the friction that's causing, right? Feminazis versus transgenders, homosexuals versus the transgenders versus the feminazis. And then the Muslims get angry because now they're angry at the Jews, and then the left-wing Jews are angry at everybody else. <laughs> it's like, you know, if you're actually a rational liberal and a rational Democrat and you're, like, running all this shit, you're like, I can't do this anymore. I'm getting, I'm, like, 80 years old. I'm getting gray hair. It's like, oh, thank God, you know? <laughs> it's so, you know. So there's actually another, like, personal incentive for the Democrats to keep everything shut down, at least to keep their idiots from, you know, it's like, it's like, it's like Wrath of the Lich King from World of Warcraft. There must always be a Lich King to keep the fucking crazy undead horde zombies from going crazy and like rampaging across the world. You know? So, as much shit as I like to give the establishment, they are at least one, good at one thing maintaining and keeping control, right? And there's a reason why they're always so obsessed with that, right? Because if no one's in control, yeah, you, you can have all these idiots running around doing stupid shit. But that's the problem. You're catering to the lowest common denominator. So it's like, ah, uh, you know, Special Olympics time, right? You become, you know, even if you win, you're still retarded or something like that, right? Red crypto community reaches 1 million subscribers. Um, yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah, that's very good. First regular Bitcoin fund for institutional investor in Hong Kong gains approval from Securities and Futures Commission. <clears throat> All right, so now we've got a real Bitcoin fund in Hong Kong. It's only going to be a matter, before, a matter of time before America does the same thing. Unfortunately, I'm not really... I mean, maybe it'll... I mean, now that we have coronavirus, maybe this cryptocurrency bull run will, have, will last a lot longer than the typical 18 months or so. That might give us enough time to actually just go in the open market and just buy a put option. Right, because that's ultimately what I want. Because I really don't want to use Ledger X. The fees are way too high to make any real money. Right, it's a lot cheaper for me to just buy like a a a, a short a, a short index or a two x short index. Right. So, I already looked at that. Um, what, where are we at? Twenty seven minutes. Oof, we got a lot to go through. Um, hold on. Yeah. So, because I also want to play my games, but I still have to lift weights, and I gotta continue reading my book, and I still want to watch Moon Moon play uh, the new Final Fantasy. So, I mean, well, here I beat it, but the the original Final Fantasy, but with a high definition texture mod and the new threat mod, which makes the enemies and fights more interesting. It's actually really cool. Um, so, see, and the thing is, people mod it for free. So that's the thing I'm thinking about. Is like. I think you need to find talented people like that with that kind of passion. It'll work for free. And then uh, what they get in return is they get the equity stake, right? You know, so Americans are using their Bitcoin to buy stimulus checks. Um, okay. All right. Uh, sharp moves of Bitcoin price to the market tool for crypto and uh, D D D D. Extremely increased. Oh yeah, sharp moves in Bitcoin price tend to be a crypto marketing tool for the crypto asset. Yeah, it also applies to everyone else. So that's also another reason why I want to destroy all the supply because then the value of four hundred four JMC coin will skyrocket, right? Because there's a lot less supply. Well, guess what? We get free publicity like that. Oh, it's like, hey, this coin is like brand new, did a hard fork and blah, blah, blah. It's got all this shit. Yeah, come come, come in, come by, blah, 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 blah. right? It's gonna be very good. What do you see? I was referring to circles here, rather than coming out of this perfect story, but the last month, the coin base CEO, Barney Armstrong, and shiptographic user, yeah. And you can more transactions being made of exactly $1,200. <clears throat> uh, I actually will need to retweet this. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, smart Americans and people in the world are buying cryptocurrency and Bitcoin <clears throat> because. With their stimulus check. Uh, 
I'm still waiting on my Trump bucks because the Democrats keep holding up the funds and it's annoying. And it's annoying. Of course, no one wants to blame the Democrats. It's always the Republicans' fault, even though the Democrats are the ones holding up my fucking Trump bucks. Additionally, I represent for Binance US dollar similar story got twelve on Monday. So Binance US is getting the same thing. Very good. Uh, putting inflationary currency in a deflationary currency, what a novel idea. I mean, you're printing more money, so obviously everything else that's not the US dollar is going to go up in value, right? You know, more dollars chasing the same thing, right? I got 10 loaves, I got, I got, I got a boat for sale, right? And it's worth 10 grand. Well, you, then you print $1 trillion. Well, there's still only one boat. So obviously that $10,000 on my one boat is going to be going up in price, right? So, I mean, it's, it's just basic economics. Well, with that being said, uh, this hyperinflation that I don't really hear anyone complaining about it, but uh, in case you haven't got the memo, it's really not that big of a deal, right? We're printing money because again, the problem is liquidity. We don't actually have cash on hand to spend, right? Because normally you're supposed to have a functioning economy where that's already taking place, but because we shut everything down, we got to print money because effectively the money that people already have, they cannot spend. All right. Because again, we're not face to face. We're not out and about. All right. What has to happen though, is they have to immediately stop printing once they start opening up the economy, because then you'll have actual hyperinflation. But even then it probably won't be that bad because a lot of people don't even have any money. So it's going to take time for like the, Delir deleterious effects. It's such a cool word. Deleterious. I can't believe I spelt this word correctly on the first try. Deleterious. Yeah, it's going to have a very delete. Deleterious. Delete. What? I keep, I keep wanting to say delete, but it's not delete. It's deleterious effect on the currency. So, um,. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll see. It's also an election year too, so they may. So Trump's gonna be like, keep the rates down, and the Fed's gonna be like, no, we need to raise them because of hyperinflation. So it's like, yeah. But you know what? <clears throat> I'll let the I'll let them all, uh, you know, worry about it. All right, so we could use this as a backup. Um, we could use this as a uh, backup. Uh, Thumbnail. So we'll put you over here. I just want to see what's happening with coronavirus here in New York because it's actually affecting me personally, right? Luckily, not super bad, but like, you know, I don't care about Prince because from all accounts, Prince sounded like a piece of shit asshole. I mean, he would sue everybody, including his friends. It's like, why is he being celebrated? You know what? Um, low quality. Just, just get out of my feet. I don't give a shit. Fuck that guy. To meet the needs of New York City, uh, it's launching COVID, maternity tasks on safe, totally to hospital births. Oh, uh, yes, that's good. Uh, this, yeah, that looks incredibly gay. <laughs> I have to say it. <laughs> you know what? This is going to be the thumbnail. <laughs> this has to be the thumbnail. This is gonna be. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna have to redo my laugh towards the end of the video. So I. <laughs> uh, oh god, I hope you guys get over. <laughs> Uh, now they now I ain't saying nothing but I got a great hearty laugh for one whole minute <laughs> this is the thumbnail I don't have to, have to write it no, I ain't saying nothing I got it for one whole minute <laughs> from this picture <laughs> no, I ain't say nothing. <laughs> you know, I have to hit the like button. <laughs> okay, okay, we gotta move on. I don't want this to be a one hour video. <laughs> oh, God. 
<laughs> Even if you're a liberal, you, ha- you, you you probably are laughing. Come on. You got to be laughing at that. Man. Come on, right? Because... Because look, I live in New York City, and I see a lot of gay people. They do not do they, they do not do this, right? They actually act kind of like basically like everyone else, like normal people, right? Like they say they always want to be, right? Right? Gay people do not act. <laughs> All right, let's move on. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. Oh God. Also, if I were Mar- Andrew Cuomo, Mario Cuomo. I would fire or have a good talk with a guy who, or gal, who told me to pose like that, all right? <laughs> okay, okay. When all this is over, I wanted to say that we went through hell, but we learned lesson. we built a better society because of it. Now, he is right about this, so I'll, I'll, I'll retweet that. Thank you, I make up say a frontline healthcare. Really? Wow. Where are all the men nurses? New York State is launching a new part to expand healthcare service and diagnostic tests and pay with the public housing areas in New York City. Must meet the need where it's highest. Okay. New York City will deliver more than 500,000 clients in the public housing communities. Well, I hope it's the good brand that I bought from Amazon because these shitty fucking reusable or disposable masks, mostly from China now because they basically hoarded all the supplies or monopolized them all. You know, the fucking thing broke. Right. I mean, I got a lot of value out of it because it's only a dollar each, but, you know, it's like, or, like, that was actually the first I was like, you know, this is another time that, like, you know, you know, poor quality from China actually, like, bit me in the ass because I lost 30 minutes of my valuable time going from Target back to home to pick up, to take another mask that's workable. I had to get my scarf and then I took off my jacket because it's hot and I had to wear a scarf outside it's like, oh, God, people are going to get the wrong impression of me. Not that I care, but I just, like, I can't say the word I really want to say. It's like, you know, coronavirus is really, <laughs> you know, you know, and I'm Chinese, right? So I can only imagine what's going to happen for non-Chinese people who are even more harmed by this shit. Right? It's like, you know... <laughs> Uh, these are hazard pay, blah blah. That is true. We have our eye clear of the ball here. Infection rate, it's a zero of risk of spread. As a zero game, okay. So, nothing new, okay. All right, so let's get to uh, what the original intent of this video was supposed to be before. <laughs> uh, this was a good thumbnail, and it's bright, but honestly, this has to take the cake. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, we will never let the great U.S. oil and gas industry die. I've instructed the Secretary of Energy to form a plan which will make five of us these important jobs be secured. Okay, so he's asked to, he's doing a bailout for the oil industry. I mean, I guess he has to. Uh, especially since apparently it's a big thing in Texas, right? You know, and like uh, net export uh, high output areas, you know, which are tend to be conservative, of course, like Texas. Well, ish before the demographic time bomb goes off. Ninety-six percent approval of GOP, of course. Uh, I've had great ratings my whole life. There's nothing unusual about that. The White House already got through the roof. It's amazing you may have keep it, which was totally corrupt. It's not like she made all that all night either. Um, psycho. Uh, what is it? Morning psycho at MSDNC just to see if he's as nuts. Yeah, uh, Joe Scarborough is just jealous because Trump became the man that Joe wished he uh, uh, Joe wished he could be, and he was going to be on, uh, in that trajectory because apparently Joe used to be a con- an actual congressman, and then I guess his intern died, right? You know, hitting her. You know, she was very attractive looking too. Uh, it was it was very sad. Um, in light of the attack from the invisible enemy, as well as the need to protect the great jobs of our great American citizens, I will be signing executive order to temporarily suspend immigration to the U.S. So, perfect, right? And of course, I bet all the liberals are screaming and howling. Uh, strong, uh, okay, so he's just, um, whatchamacallit, Tom Tiffany, um, that's hilarious, his last name is a woman's name. No, I mean, it's just how, the, just how it goes. He's struggling. Okay, all right, so he's just doing his. Uh, what's the word? Okay. Oh, he's doing his usual GOP endorsements. 
Uh, here's Mitch McCuckle. Uh, it's been four days since the paycheck protection program ran dry. We've probably been trying to fund this job saying for over a week, but they're on a block test. And I will meet again tomorrow. My colleagues will probably let us know what to do today. So that's why I have not gotten my Trump bucks, right? But of course, the liberals are just ignoring it, you know, and along with the fake news terrorists. Uh, and then there just doesn't seem to be. Hmm, uh, eh, Greg Jarrett. Uh, well, I would definitely have questions about him specifically, but also I'm not sure how he feels about the Groiper Wars. Um, I can't really remember, but I assume if Trump's retweeting him, then he probably didn't say anything about the Groiper Wars, or he maybe, or maybe he took it a step further, which is what I'm trying to, which, which is what I'm suspicious of, and actually attacked Nick Fuentes and the Groipers. So, yeah. All right. So overall, everything looks pretty good. Nothing new here. Uh, again, this should have been the thumbnail, but this this has to be, like, come on. <laughs> totally, totally that doesn't make you laugh hysterically. It, even before I even said anything, I just saw it and I immediately... <laughs> okay, I think I'm more or less over it, but this definitely is going to be the thumbnail. You know, I don't give a shit. If you like what you saw, read, or heard, hit the like button, follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you are watching this from or on my youtube's at youtube.com forward slash gmc radio make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can continue to grow this channel uh i think we all honestly needed a really good laugh because i know i did so uh hopefully you found this entertaining as well as informative uh because again in terms of money nothing nothing nothing's going to change until things start reopening yeah they are they, you know they will um you know, uh, liberal degeneracy will definitely be the hardest hit, right? Just hopefully conservatives don't get killed by coronavirus by doing anything stupid. Uh, and then, you know, we'll come up, we'll continue to come out on top because we're, we're winning. We're winning all over the place, right? Pride marches are going, uh, well, I shouldn't say pride marches, but like the stupid marches, you know, women's pride, you know, anti-Trump pride you know I, I gotta start covering myself so i don't get banned on youtube or whatever like all these stupid idiots that just like just want to fraud at the mouth and just do protest stupid things because they have nothing better to do right those are all taking a hit <clears throat> the democrat establishment loves it and personally i guess i don't mind either because i really don't want to deal with the crazy left-wing people right now as much as it's fun to just make fun of them it's kind of bland and boring and predictable Right, you know, the, the eye on the prize is really still America first. Actually, I should be on Nick Fuentes' timeline, but we're a little, I mean, I already went over time anyway, but yeah, we're, we're, we're winning, right? Nick Fuentes and the Groypers are ta taking over TikTok because, again, <clears throat> for some reason, it's like fake conservative and fake right ink just, you know, just can't help themselves. They're literally just, you know, their, their, their parasitical tentacles are like literally everywhere. So I'm glad Nick is taking it to him. And in the meantime, you know, Trump is actually going full Donald Trump mode, right? We, we suspended immigration. We have an immigration moratorium. And what's the left going to say? They can't really say much, right? Because remember, right? Remember what I've always said. Globalists have to actually fix this problem because what's going to happen? Everyone's going to become right-wing conservatives because you either do that or you die. Right? People are starving. People can't make money. People can't go to jobs. People can't socialize. They can't go to the fucking store without a goddamn mask. Right? You know, people are getting mad. You know, domestic abuse and maybe rapes are going up. I know domestic abuse is definitely going up. Right? But rapes are probably going up too because you can't go out and date. So what are you going to do? <laughs> right? You know? Um, Let's see, and I guess for now the liberals are content with the shutdown because like they see the conservatives are doing the rational thing for the most part with the exception of maybe the anti-shutdown protests, right? If you want to take that out of the equation, right? But for the most part, liberals are just like, Ugh, you know? <clears throat> Even then, some of the liberals probably are supporting the uh, anti-shutdown protests too, right? Because they, they want to go out and do their like, you know, pride stuff, right? Or just socialize um and then people are like whoa we we need more immigration we need our money and people are like hey i can't fucking feed my kids like wh what are you talking about right even a liberal can't argue against that at least some liberals right because again i still have to factor this in like well how many stupid idiots are still voting for joe biden it's like come on right and the democrats are holding up your trump bucks so i mean 
Ah, uh, it's 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 very irritating. It's just very irritating, right? Like personally, if I were an actual liberal and I had my head on straight, you know, I I just cannot. I just would not. I just would not understand. Um, <laughs> like this is this is what this is who is leading you, right? Along with this senile old fuck, Joe Biden. It's like. Come on, you can't, like, you want to know why nobody wants to like you or be with you? Here's your answer. I mean, at least Meryl Cuomo is doing the right thing, right? You know, tweeting correctly, but again, this is just, what the, what is this? <laughs> I'll see you all tomorrow's video, thanks. James C. Coy. I mean, James C. Coy, Johnson Chan, 404 card, I completely botched it, but... <laughs> See you all tomorrow.